iOS 10 what comes to our mind iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 plus right so if you get a ROM which exactly looks like the iOS 10 and you can install it on one of the most budget friendly phones ever the U Euphoria how will you react I have been checking this ROM out for the past uh, three or four days and yeah this ROM has a bug that can be a deal breaker for many of you but I was using it with Geo 4G and it was working absolutely fine so you guys should definitely definitely install it because this ROM believe me guys looks exact it's, it's basically a copy of the iOS 10 let's say that and you guys know it very very well uh, for those of you who are selfie freaks out there you might be knowing this ROM very very well because this is the Oppo Color OS 3.0 on the U Euphoria and yeah today uh, let's just look at how to install it right how to install it and what all do you get with this ROM a comprehensive inner look in this ROM and if this ROM is truly worth of getting installed on your U Euphoria so if you are wondering that uh, why so much sunlight falling on my face? This is Jyotir here from Freaks and Geeks, and let's get started. But I kind of like welcoming you to every Euphoria video that I keep making once in a while. So let's start with this once more time. So go to the description box, and there will be the link for the ROM, the ROM specific G apps, and the custom kernel. Download the three and store them on your internal storage or your micro SD card, whichever you prefer. So, if you are on MIUI, uh, the ROM, or any on custom ROM, then just switch off your device and press the volume down button and the power button together. So, what this will do is that this will boot your device into the custom recovery that you have installed. In my case, I have TWRP. So, as you can see, we are uh, currently in TWRP recovery. So, from here, just hit backup and just take a backup of your current OS because if anything goes wrong you can just restore your original OS from there just go back and hit wipe go to advanced wipe and Dalvik system data and cache and just swipe to wipe so this will wipe everything to take a backup if anything important is there then go to install so there is a trick of installing these guys so you need to flash the ROM and then you definitely need to flash a custom kernel otherwise the ROM will not flash so links will be given in the description box below for the custom kernel that I have used for my case this is the ACE kernel 1.0 lettuce and you can use any other custom kernel you want so from here as you can see we have we are gonna select wherever we have stored our ROM so as you can see we have the color OS 3.0 new new year edition some sort of thing so we are gonna flash this first so as you can see I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna go to add more zips and then I'm gonna flash the custom kernel that I have downloaded so do remember that you have to flash the custom kernel first and not the G apps you if you flash the G apps then the ROM will not work because you have to flash the G apps after you after the first boot so as you can see I'm gonna select the custom kernel the ACE kernel 1.0 and then uh, just swipe to confirm flash so once you're done with this just hit reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into the newly installed OS that is the color OS 3.0 which is an exact copy of iOS Boot it into the ROM if you want to get the latest Google Apps then uh, the first thing you want to do is that you want to switch off your device as you can see slide to power off so we are gonna switch off our device and then from there we are gonna uh, reboot to recovery mode we are gonna reboot to TWRP recovery once again and guys do not use open G apps use the G apps that is provided in the link below because the developer claims that this G apps will only work the open G apps will not work so I prefer to be to use the G apps that is given in the link below so then just go to install and then just select the G apps as you can see G apps for color OS it is clearly mentioned click on that and just swipe to confirm flash once you're done you can you're good to go you can hit reboot and, and hit system so as you can see we are currently into color OS we have booted up successfully so let's just quickly unlock this device and give a pattern Oops. okay so this is the home screen that you get with color OS so it looks pretty dope doesn't it okay from here the first things we are gonna go to settings and let's look at on which Android version it runs on let's just scroll down and let's go to about phone so as you can see it currently runs on the Android version 5.1 uh, that's the basic thing with every custom UI that you install on your Euphoria starting from MIUI so that's not a problem that should not be a problem for you let's just go back let's see what else do we have we have display and brightness and let's see wallpaper and magazine okay so we have the magazine stuff I don't know why uh, we have subscribed 
auto update settings let's just go back let's go to sound and vibration okay basic things not much over here fingerprint and passcode though the euphoria does not support fingerprint and passcode but still it is given this proves that it has been ported from some sort of oppo phone which has a fingerprint sensor but euphoria does not have a fingerprint sensor so we are not gonna we are not interested in that okay let's just go to gesture and motion we have off screen gestures from here you can select double tap to wake draw a circle to launch a camera every feature that is present in the oppo f1s or all kind of oppo phones which we see the advertising here and now draw a v to launch a flashlight quick gestures we have take a screenshot using three fingers one hand operation prevent miss operation smart cover function is also there i don't know how well that works but yeah it's there let's just go back and let's see what else do we have we have the system updates okay we have system updates. something okay uh checking for updates i don't know why it already the latest version it says okay let me just adjust the brightness a bit yeah that's pretty decent oopsie okay from here we have the o cloud i've never seen the, i'm using our color rom color os rom for the first time guys so it's the o roms uh, uh o cloud stuff yeah okay so like the iOS thing, we also have some of the apps over here like that. Of you can see phone, we have contacts, messages, security. Okay, security is a new thing. We have also theme support is also baked in. So download using mobile data, allowed notifications, clear cache, and a lot of things. Okay, it is uh, the developer has worked pretty hard on this one because he has fully converted it from Chinese to English. So one thing coming to the bug section. I'm gonna st uh, state this first because it's quite important to mention the bugs first so let's just go to Wi-Fi so as you can see Wi-Fi if I switch it on Wi-Fi does not work uh, uh, yeah this can this is one of the major bugs in this ROM and this can be a deal breaker for many of you but believe me this is one of the smoothest Chinese OEM ROMs that you can get out on the U developer forums so you can definitely check this out so and moreover it looks like ios so yeah that's also one of the reasons to check it out let's go to notification and status bar we have battery percentage as you can see zero percent because my battery is crap show data usage at the bottom of notification bar pulse light which does not have euphoria light up the screen upon the reception of lock screen notifications that's pretty much it from the customization options let's see what else do we have in the rom we have the phone as you can see it looks like almost like the ios and animations are also like the ios so let me just show you as you can see it's almost like ios let's just see what camera do we have yeah so this is one of the bugs that i also found in this rom perhaps it's only my unit but i don't know you might also face it because camera is not working perhaps something i flashed wrong or i don't know but i don't know this is the bug which i faced and i thought of informing this to you guys what else do we have we have color control okay let's see what color control does okay we can control each and every aspect of the rom the display color as you can see saturation we can like increase the saturation and let's just save it i don't know what it did but i think it did something at least okay so yeah this is also there and we have quick reboot super su flashlight oppo vip tools okay tools in we have backup and restore uh, okay settings files security we have oppo security i love the security app guys this is one of the most favorite security apps from oppo that i like the most as you can see it is pretty intuitive as you can see the multitasking tray uh, let me just open a few apps and show you so yeah that's pretty much it everything pretty much works in this rom as far as i have checked out and the major bug is the wi-fi bug uh, yeah, it can be a deal breaker for some of you guys, but the other bugs, which are very, very minor bugs, guys, you can just ignore them and just go ahead and install this. You will enjoy this ROM, guys. So if this video was helpful to you, and I hope it was, then do give that thumbs up button to this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such content on the UU4, the Redmi Note 3, the Xiaomi Mi 5, Android 1. And after June, I'll try to buy the Redmi Note 4 as well if my parents allow it. So yeah, uh, until next time, see you in my next video. Stay a freak and stay a geek. Yeah, did I forget something? Do good and be good. Peace.